Hi, my name's Sam Brill. Oh yeah, hi, I'm Sam Brill, and I'm the photographer for the next Brill thing. Hi, I'm Innie, and I'm Sam's stylist. What makes a good model is um, good expression, so I'm someone who's comfortable in front of a camera, unlike me. Um, <laughs> good at posing, um, I don't know. Yeah, expression really good. I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I left school, um, so I, I went to college and did a multimedia course, and one of the subjects in that course was photography. Um, and then during the course I got into it more and more and then it branched off and I followed on with photography and got into it loads more over the years I suppose. Like. Um, I've had lots of cold models I suppose because like um, doing fashion photography in Scotland is probably not the, in skimpy clothes is probably not a great thing. Um, uh, no, because I Amy's, don't really um, have Amy's did um, modelling before and she was um, unprofessional. <laughs> I, but that was me modelling, it wasn't me working with models. Yeah, I've got loads, but um, earlier on, like a guy called Platon or Platon, I don't know how you, um, how you say his name, but like, he had a massive influence on me. Um, early on, not so much now I suppose, but like um, Iolo Perfido, who's an Italian photographer, um, is a master influence as well. Um, I've recently got into a guy called Drew Gardiner, who shoots are really over the top, but like are amazing. Um, and there's loads of other photographers. Well, I think recently I've been uh, inspired by Falgani and Shane Peacock, I think that's how you say it. I don't know, they're uh, an Indian couple who designed a label and uh, it's kind of out there and quite fun. And then there's um, Hannah Marshall, Pam Hawk and Alexander McQueen, kind of like more commercial ones. I suppose just to be successful commercially, I suppose, and um, to be like a renowned fashion photographer, a commercial photographer, like, um, I don't know, like, I mean, it's not just fashion photography that I'm, I'm into, I mean, like, far from it, like, um, there's like a Magnum photographer, uh, like, an organisation called Magnum, which has got loads of amazing um, photographers in it. Um, which is sort of more journalistic. I'd love to do that kind of stuff. I'd love to do like um, editorial work for magazines, so sort of, um, famous people and all that kind of stuff. It's loads of kind of photography. I'd, be, I'd love to. Do. I suppose like getting photos in um, like Days to Confused or Vogue or ID and all that kind of stuff. Um, that would be pretty cool. Um, well, that'd be amazing. But like, I don't know there's. Not just those fashion magazines, there's like loads of other magazines that I'd love to have my photos in. Like I'm um, even just like I'd like to actually do some advertising um, shots for like GQ or whatever. Because if you've ever if you ever got a GQ magazine, you're like about three quarters of it is all just advertising. You should really get the magazine for free. Yeah, I'd like to do like some like travelling photography, like going around um, like foreign countries and taking pictures of like the natives, I suppose like. I'm actually thinking of doing that pretty soon, maybe this year, like, um, maybe going travelling with one of my friends to Syria, I think it is. Um, he's actually staying there right now, but like, um, I might travel around there for a month, maybe take it, um, do like a little project on it. Um, yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I'd like to, actually one of my ambitions is to take um, amazing photos of um, whales, like a blue whale, but like, yeah, that's totally different. <laughs> June oh. Brown. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, June Brown. She's amazing. Yeah, she's got a, a lovely face. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, no, I don't really know. Like, <laughs> I think all the models that like, um, like dream models. I don't know, like you know, like Kate Moss and Agnes Dean. You'd have to compete with so many amazing photos that like maybe. It would be best just to start with a, a newer face, I suppose. So, like, maybe that it wouldn't be so great to like 
try and shoot with someone who's already worked with amazing photographers because it would make you feel pretty bad if you got pretty bad shots with them. If, uh, if you're looking for a model, it, the model does help like because, well, sometimes the photo shoot is in the studio and then um, if it's in a studio then it's, it's sometimes quite difficult because you are, you do have to like create the look, you're creating something from nothing really. Um, you, I mean, you've got, con you've got lighting is in your favour because you don't need to like sort of hope for good weather and all that kind of stuff. Um, but really, if it's in a studio then like it has to be a good model or it helps. Um, but yeah, location does help a lot um, it, with posing and all that kind of stuff um, because I mean, if the location looks good anyway, it helps the model like imagine the photograph a bit more. Like it makes it easier for them to sort of imagine that it will be a good photograph rather than it being crap. Oh, um, oh, there's probably quite a few. Like there's, um, these are all old ones as well. That's not a good thing. Um, <laughs> there's um, one of Cat um, who was one of the first um, models I shot when I started doing model um, photography. I'm doing a lot with it, my hand here. Um, and um, I wanted to do a shoot with like water getting poured over um, over her. Like, and it was just a, just a headshot of her getting like, soaked with water, really. Um, but it's like, I, it looks really nice. And there's a friend of mine um, called Stephen um, who just walking around with me one day when I um, when I was at college and I had a medium format camera like and I, I took a, a really cool shot of him in just like a cafe eating a burger <laughs> but it looks really cool um, just captured a really cool moment like he's got um, it's a good composition and like it looks like he's eating the wow, it just looks really cool and um, there's another one with a model called Emma in a red dress um, those three would probably be up there. Um, I suppose imagination is like, I have any imagination and it's not going to be exciting and it's not going to look good. Everything like travel, definitely is one of the biggest things. Music, um, magazines are great for inspiration as well. Just, well, it can really transform like, the model and change the sort of scene of the photos. We've um, now got the final five picked, um, so from that final five, We'll um, hopefully get an interview with the next five and then narrow it down to just the one um, and then have a photo shoot with them soon. Good luck. <laughs>